Hello, Libra placements. This is a general reading for the month of August. Um, this message will apply to you if you have Libra as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, south node, any prominent stelliums, personal placements. Um, and this message is for you whenever you see it. Um, so I'm currently filming this on August 1st. Um, today is also the full moon in Aquarius. Um, Libra and Aquarius are both air signs. Um, we have different philosophies of going about things in our relationships with people. Um, but at the end of the day, we really do have similar principles. Um, we want equality, fairness. We care about people, ideas, um, social interactions. Um, so what is going on for the Libra placements in the month of August. What is going on for the Libra placements? It's like dead air. Anytime a car doesn't come out and I'm not rambling. Um yeah life i don't have thoughts anymore i'm too too tired to have thoughts that's crazy hollywood's crazy there, there's no place in the world like it um i moved here like two and a half months ago that's crazy i time is not real i <laughs> i feel like i've like lived here my whole life but also like not like I had like like life before here, but that was like a different lifetime ago. Like everything is so different. Um, damn Libras, you really don't want to talk. Oof, the tower. Okay. Um, I have not pulled this card in a while, at least for myself god um not to scare you um the tower is just when circumstances outside of our control like if you're noticing you're taking l's left and right like things are kind of blowing up situations are not working out for you um this is something that you cannot control and you have to surrender to you just need to trust in this time that everything that is happening is meant for your highest good um, and I think the nodes just shifted too into Aries and Libra, that axis. Um, and we're currently, Venus is currently retrograde in the sign of Leo. Um, and Venus is Libra's ruler. So makes sense, you know, retrograde is all about revisiting things. Um, you know, Venus having to do with love, beauty, money, relationships, harmony. Um, so I feel like if you're struggling right now, just keep holding on. That's the first thing that I want to say. Um, whoa. Okay. Huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. I see. I see. So yeah, you're being asked to have a lot of faith in the universe. Um, I also pulled the wheel of fortune for Virgo. Um, but with the seven of cups, it's like, you have a lot of choices right now. You have a lot of options. Um, and this, this could be even like romantic prospects, anything that like you genuinely care about, you have a lot of options on where to go next, but it's like, you're not seeing that. Like you're, you're only, you're only seeing or taking seriously options of things that are harmful to you. Um, because I think that's like where your vibration is right now. Like what you feel like you are deserving of, um, I want more clarity on the Seven of Cups and on the situation. <sighs> yeah, because if, if there's if there's one thing that I'll say about Libras, we and I say we, I have my Mars in Libra, we can't make decisions to save our lives, right? You know, the the Libras are indecisive stereotype. It's like, it's like yeah, like you're weighing the options. Like this this sounds like good, but oh oh wait, that also sounds good. Which one's right? Well, it's not the one's right. Actually, it's like <laughs> you go back and forth. You're like weighing the pros and cons and like the scales are kind of at equilibrium. And it's like, oh, my God, I have to make a choice. I don't fucking know. 
Um, yeah. You guys like someone else doing that for you. Um, okay, the Queen of Cups just fell out. Um, so it's interesting that you guys are getting a lot of cups. Um, so the Queen of Cups is someone who is highly intuitive, empathetic, spiritual, shares their wisdom and their like feelings openly um and someone who is just so unafraid to show their emotions that it makes others around them feel more comfortable i feel like you guys are stepping into this energy of the queen of cups being more compassionate um i'm very curious like i don't know i feel like this reading is so dramatic <laughs> the tower and the seven of cups i'm like whoa like I, I feel like right now the month of august can feel a little bit unstable or ungrounded for you guys um like you really don't know what's going on so you're doing your best to hold on it's like there's so many options and like how do i even make a decision when my life is so chaotic like trust that divine timing is at play here um, and I think like some good advice for you guys is to just really like anything that's coming up, any emotions, any sensations in your body, like really honor that. Don't try to force anything. Try to go with the flow. Huh? The star in reverse. Okay. Um, I feel like, you know, if you guys have been losing hope, um, and also I think in the order of the cards, the star is after the tarot, the tarot, Jesus Christ, the tower, um, so it's like when all there when when there is all this destruction trust that there's a rainbow at the end of the storm like don't lose hope because you can't feel it or see you can't see your way out like this is all happening for your highest good everything that's happening right now is for your highest good you're being asked to trust it anything in your life that is not meant for anymore is being removed these obstacles, these blockages, the hanged man. Yeah, you're really being asked to pause, surrender, be in stillness, not do anything, you know? Um, and I think also like in retrograde seasons, um, it is harder to get forward movement. Like I, I think this is a common feeling um, among the signs of feeling stuck. But it's like you, by sitting back and falling back and letting things play out, you will be able to see the situation more clearly and to make decisions. Um, the Hanged Man is also a card of meditation, um, reflection, um, pause. Yeah, surrender, surrender. Things are out of your control. You don't have control in the situation. You know, but that doesn't mean that, oh my god, the world's ending and everything's on fire. Like, nah, man. What do the Libras need to know right now? Yeah, wow. Okay. No, literally, like, the hangman and then the hermit. Like, I just, I, these cards to me just scream, like, alone time, alone time, leave me alone. Um, and the hermit being the card of Virgo. We got Virgo, we got Aquarius energy up in here. Um, yeah just spiritual wisdom and it's like the hermit is someone who goes on their own path you know um and through you know going off on your own adventure and, and going into the woods or, or reading a book or, or just taking some time by yourself journaling like you know you see this light this this wisdom it's like in this time you might want to talk to your elders you know talk to your talk to your grandparents like read i don't know i feel like right now you're just trying to make sense of things like i think you're not you're being asked to not act right now um but to reflect yeah i feel like you know being an air sign we have this tendency to um intellectualize our emotions like we will talk about them but like talking about them is not the same thing as feeling them and that is like a recent discovery for me but like just because you think you understand something because you talk about it and oh 
this happened and then this happened so i feel this way it's like no like feelings are beyond logic like sometimes they just happen and it's like you have to get to the root of that and it's like that's what you're being asked to do this season you know um so yeah uh okay at the bottom of the deck right now is the two of cups um and how on brand that before i was talking about relationships um and you know libra is a sign of relationships and, and balance and you know you're at your best or you're at your happiest when you are in a partnership with someone else you feel like you can balance out um energy when you're working with another person um and so right now i think you're just overwhelmed there's like there's too many options and it, like this doesn't just have to be for love it's just like in life in business and friendship like there's <laughs> there's a lot going on um and this is so every reading that i've done even though it's like very like I've, I've done leo through now you guys so far and even though it's like different messages like there there's just this big overarching theme of like pouring your energy back into yourself and how on brand for leo season um but yeah getting in touch with your emotions getting in touch with your intuition taking time away from everyone else um and trusting that you know just because things feel like they, they'll never get better right now that doesn't mean that it's true um just hang on a little bit longer um these options will reveal themselves in time to what's actually true and right for you and what would just be another test from the universe like just wait it out that's my main takeaway um i hope you guys like this reading um and feel free to book a personal reading with me um just dm me to set up a time rates if you're in la we can meet up um but yeah i hope you guys have a great august